In more local coverage now, a rare treat for Southern New Englanders. If you're planning to be up after midnight tonight, take a moment to look up at the sky. You may be able to see a total lunar eclipse. Eyewitness News meteorologist TJ Del Santo joins us now with more on what it's all about, new at 5. Weather permitting, we could see an astronomical treat in the sky tonight, a total lunar eclipse. And you won't need any special equipment to see it. If you wake up early Tuesday morning, look up at the sky. You may catch a glimpse of a rare phenomenon, a total lunar eclipse. Between 3 a.m. and 4.30 is the best time to look. The last total lunar eclipse visible from southern New England was in 2010. Mike Gumbricht is the curator of Brown University's Lad Observatory. He said tonight's eclipse is a rare alignment between the sun, Earth, and the moon. It's moving in an orbit around the Earth. The shadow of the Earth is pretty much fixed, and the moon passes into it. The eclipse begins at 1.20 a.m. when the moon moves into the part of the shadow called the penumbra. You probably won't notice too much as the moon's appearance will only change slightly. At 2 a.m., the partial eclipse begins and the moon slowly fades away. As you get more towards about 3 a.m., you'll start to see a bit of a dark shadow slowly pass across the moon. The shadow will completely engulf the moon. Totality begins at 3.07 and ends at 4.25 a.m. During this time, the moon is in the umbra part of Earth's shadow, the darkest part of the shadow, and the moon will take on a reddish-orange look. This is safe uh, nighttime lunar eclipse. You can look at it directly with your eyes, binoculars, whatever you'd like to use. The reddish-orange color is caused by the bending of light by moisture, pollutants, and volcanic ash in the Earth's atmosphere, which actually gives atmospheric scientists a chance to do some research. So it, it's useful for for studying the Earth's atmosphere, ironically, um, and it's just a, a beautiful thing to watch. A cold front working through the northeast will bring lots of clouds to southern New England, but you only need a few breaks in the clouds to see this total lunar eclipse. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.